Welcome back to the channel, all my chart junkies out there in the world. In this video, I really want to take a step back because we've been going over a lot of smaller time frame stuff and we're still going to do that in this video. Towards the end of the video, we're going to see what's going on in Bitcoin, smaller time frame, and uh, see what this move up is bringing us as far as trades goes. Um, but I really want to take a second and zoom out and show you what my overall count is and what is looking good for me overall on Bitcoin um, with where we're at right now in this consolidation. Where do I think the Bitcoin price is going to go? What the most probable path is for Bitcoin? This is an important video because we all need to have the longer time frame in mind as we're putting in these smaller time frame trades, of course. So yeah, sit back, relax. As you guys know, I'm sitting in my uh, long trade right now. I'm looking to take this up higher. I will show you my targets and why they are my targets as well. Um, but yeah, we're sitting long over on Blowfin. Looking pretty right now. Up about 15K in profit right now. It's up and down, but I'm riding this out. So, you know, if you guys want to trade on Blowfin as well while we're here, pinned in the first comment down below um, is the link to trade on Blowfin, there's no KYC. The link will give you a hundred dollar refund on your first losing trade. So if you want to go throw a trade in, go for it. The link's right there. Uh, no KYC, great liquidity, so many coins to trade, super easy to use. You sign up with your email, get trade in, people. Come on. Um, yeah, let's let's just pipe right into it. So I'm on I'm on the daily chart here, just on Coinbase because it has a nice amount of chart history. Um, and what I'm seeing here, guys, my most probable count for Bitcoin, what it looks like right now, where we're at until we get a break of the high here, until we get a break of the high to all time high at that point, it will look like one, two, three, four, five waves. Um, you know, this can, this can drag out a little longer and still go up and still be one, two, three, four, five, right? But until we get a break, I can't call it five waves. And right now, it does look very much like an ABC. If we look at the log scale chart, you can see it very clearly here. Um, I mean, that's that's an ABC all day, right? So it and it measures correctly. It's just right now, it's a corrective wave, ABC style to the upside. And if you've been around this channel for a while, you already know what I'm going to say. When we have an ABC that break takes out the high, when you have a correction that takes out a high, when we have a correction down off of the high like we had here, I mean, for me, it means one thing. And that one thing is a flat, baby. It's a flat. And I'm going to show you what we're experiencing here and how we can get this to be an initial wave one to the downside where we would have a big three wave to follow after our two, four, and then five to the downside. I'm going to show you how this would all play out. And and also, I'm going to show you a count that would take out the all-time high and it would put in our, our fifth wave that we're looking for. And then, yeah, we can count this as one, two, three, four, five, right? At that point, I have no problem doing that once we get a break of the high. You know, I would have to count it like that, to be honest with you. It can no longer be an ABC for me. It just doesn't have the shape anymore. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We'll go over that count as well. Now, what are we looking at here if this is an ABC? So if this is an ABC to the upside, and we're ultimately looking for a big impulsive wave to the downside, three, four, five, the way this one wave is playing out right now, I expect it to give us a little more up down type action because I'm expecting this to be a leading diagonal for our wave one. And if you're an Elliott wave trader, stick, you stick with me guys. If you're not, cause you, you need to know this stuff. Elliott wave changed my life and I'm trying to bring it to as many people as I can, because I don't know if it's just my strategy with Elliott wave that I use or what, but it's the only way I found to become a consistently profitable trader and it absolutely launched my trading career off just with Elliott wave theory so that's what this channel is all about and I'm trying to spread the news and, and help as many people as I can so in Elliott wave a leading diagonal is a five wave impulse but it takes the form of a bunch of corrective waves right so 
we have a correction down for one, correction up for two, correction down for three, correction up for four, correction down for five, right? That would be our one, two, three, four, five. You know, it's I can't call it a leading diagonal yet. It still needs a little longer to go in my opinion. So this would give credence if you've been watching my videos to another clip of the high, stay within this trend line and then come down correctively for another wave down to around 45k somewhere in that range stay somewhat in this channel um, we can have a break out of it slightly and then we would have a bigger correction come up maybe tease the high there's so much liquidity at 70k 71k above this local high the liquidity kind of fades off a little bit above all-time high um, but there's a lot up near it it would be evil and I think probable for this correction to come up and come so close to taking out all-time high and then boom we get our wave three so it would ultimately look like this. this is our one two big time three let's sweep this liquidity into four into five of a bigger scale right and I'll make this white so ultimately it would look like something like this longer time frame and I'm talking low low prices guys this can come down extremely low we can take out this low easily easily and it still probably wouldn't be enough you know if we go to regular scale and if I pull fibs on the entire correction that this would be it would be an A B C to the downside right we're looking at this the one to one is at 20k but these lower targets are very real and very probable you're talking 7k 6k targets and that's that's fine completely fine it can it can actually do that I wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest come down come down to this right here have a nice support bounce off of that and then zoom you know it's it actually is one of my most probable ideas of, of what to ha what would happen here and i know it's really that really messes with a lot of people because they have you know some let's put it back on log scale everyone has you know trend lines drawn um they have a the logarithmic ribbon like it would come down it would smash through a lot of that stuff but guys i mean you know people had trend lines drawn right here we've broken out of that and we actually just retested it you know you can draw trend lines anywhere you can move trend lines anywhere guys i mean if we're on regular scale yeah you can draw you can draw this trend line and it would really break through this trend line but trend lines are made to get broken i'm sorry they just are so yeah, this is my most probable count. And you know, we don't need to come that deep. I'm just saying it's a possibility. The one to one, as I stated, that doesn't break the low, that's at 20K and, and that's a, a nice move as well. But the way this leading diagonal forms and how long and how big this one wave is, if we correct up to two, it to get an impulsive wave, three would have to be quite deep. Four would come out and I'm assuming this low would break just to have a nice Elliott wave shape. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> just to have a nice Elliott wave shape. That's what it would need to do for me. And that's if we get a leading diagonal here up on top. If all time high is put in. And, you know, I'll tell you right now, guys, if we do get this leading diagonal shape and stick with me, because I told you we're going to go smaller time frame here. So stay with me. But if we get this leading diagonal shape, I'm expecting a big ABC to the upside, big time break through this channel. Everyone thinks all time high is going to get taken out. We come so close. I mean, so I'm talking 73K close, right? And then it just dumps. It looks great to me. So clearing all this off, you know, if we want to take all time high, high out, the shape is there. We do have a, a down wave. We have a corrective. ABC and I'm looking for another correction to one more down wave to finish off a WXY pattern. It would look something like this W X Y bunch of ABCs in the middle. 
sweep liquidity down to about 45k and then come back up to all-time high in impulsive fashion and take out all-time high and there's your five wave shape then we can expect some type of lar larger correction and then continuation at that at that point right that's your elite wave structure right there this could blow off top and just gain steam towards 100k plus sure it can we can have an extended fifth wave I'm, I'm just not planning on it but it's definitely in the cards it can happen most likely you're going to breach the high up towards 80k correct down and then then go back up this would be your one wave into a two and then a big time three I'm talking 250k plus easy right so those are the possibilities way in the future just to give you kind of a roadmap as to what we have here let's go smaller time frame um and, and look at, at what we have as far as immediate trades as you know i am playing an a b c to the upside sorry a, B, C to the upside here, smaller time frame. We're on the hourly right now. Um, I'm looking for liquidity to get taken right here. And then we come back down for some more, down to around 45K. Um, that's just what I'm playing. Both Elliott Wave counts that I have, the ultra bearish count that dumps with the leading diagonal and the one that takes out all-time high again and says this is just a correction. Both have a similar wave pattern like this. That's why I'm playing this pattern, guys. Of course, this this counts that that it can take this up higher, um, but they're not the most probable counts in my opinion. So um, this is the structure I'm playing overall. I'm looking for this to keep pushing up, right? So as we zoom in, and we'll take a look at ETH real quick as well. But as we zoom in, what do we have for trades now? Over in Discord, in the premium Discord, I'm telling everyone to stay patient because honestly. I'm not seeing anything very tradable right now, but I will show you what I'm looking out for that will be tradable. But I'm telling everyone, everyone in Premium Discord and the alerts to stay patient. Um, currently, we're seven for eight on our last eight trades. We just lost our last one with ETH, but I told everyone um, to get out of the trade before our stop loss was hit, about halfway up the stop loss. Didn't like the look of it. Told them to get out. Saved us some money there. It is what it is um guys while we're in here if you want to join the premium discord for my daily alerts 24 7 live charts my elliott wave course is in here full access to me i'm giving these long-winded answers to everyone answering everyone's questions um what you're going to do is go to upgrade here once you're in the free discord just go to upgrade here you get 25 dollars off your first month with code 25 off and um the price is getting increased to 98 dollars a month on September 18th this Wednesday so if you want to lock in the current price I'm giving you fair warning now you need to do it before Wednesday you will lock in the current price plus you will get $25 off your first month so if you want to give it a try go for it now Wednesday the price is going up and it ain't never coming back it's still gonna to be too cheap when it's at $98 I'm probably gonna to have to bring it up again because there's way too much included here there's way too much money to be made in here and um, I got it I got to increase the price guys I'm sorry so Fair warning. Now, smaller time frame. What I'm looking at. I'm on the three minute now. Let's 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 take it back out. So for this this wave, I am looking for an impulsive wave to continue. Um, basically, I have a one two here. I'm looking for one two three four five, like so, something up towards sixty five k, sixty seven k. Like let let's keep pushing up. Let's keep pushing up. Um, a lot of times when you have a big move out of a liquidity zone like this and waves start to get really impulsive, you don't get great Elliott wave formation, smaller time frames. This might just start pushing up here. We might have taken enough liquidity and started pushing up. Um, so it it's, gets difficult to trade smaller time frame. But what I would be looking at you know, I want I want to stay clear of this. I don't even want to come back and retest this, to be honest with you. Um, there's been too many retests, way too many retests, that I just want to finally find um, uh, something. Uh, I want to find something that slices through very impulsively. I want it to get to that point. I want that to be now. If this corrects here, and we have some type of a correction down like this into this fair value gap yeah I will be screaming to long this of course but how many times can we come down come down come down come down 
How many times can we do that, to be honest with you? Um, are we going to keep giving everyone long opportunities? Is that what we're doing here? Um, I don't know. I, so I really want to see this just keep pushing up. But if we do smaller time frame, get a move like this where we have a correction up, correction down. We have an impulse up. We have a start wave down and A. This is our flat correction B coming down for C. Yeah, that could be the case, right? Could be the case. So that's what I'm looking at. I'd be looking along this level if we get such a move. Uh, if we look at Ethereum, smaller time frame. Ethereum already did have a great move down right into its fair value gap, swept liquidity. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of how deep that came. Um, but it does look like a nice little ABC shape, swept liquidity. And Ethereum looks like it's ready to run. This happened so fast, so fast. Um, but yeah, we could have one, two, three, four, coming up for five, have it be an extended fifth. Then we have one, two, three, four, five five and we have one here's our flat two all this is three into four into five rate cut september 18th look at that let's have an impulsive wave through september 18th let's take out this high on ethereum let's come up to 2800 let's put in ethereum's zigzag abc and then let's come down baby that would leave to Bitcoin um, doing following a similar route coming up sweeping its high up at 55 K so this will come up towards 65 K following a similar similar structure to Ethereum that we mapped out here just keeps pushing up and then let's dump with rate cuts September 18th when is that right here so you would expect for this to get quite impulsive coming up, spike up on rate cuts and then dump. That's what looks good to me right now, guys. This video is a little long. I am sorry about that, um, but I had to get all my thoughts out long term. Thank you for watching it all the way through. If you did, like the video, subscribe, click all the links down below, sign up for premium. I'll see you on the other side and check out Blowfin and get trading, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Bye.